<laughs> Miss Princess Casserole here. And I am coming to you. I have um, an estate sale haul, as you can see. <laughs> I have boop, boop. A whole bunch of stuff out here that I got from an estate sale and yard sale and the thrift store and all kinds of stuff. So let's dig in. All right. So there was a lot of people here and this was like the third day or something like that. So there was just a whole bunch of, of, um, jewelry at this estate sale that like people had gone through probably like resellers, you know, like it was the second or third day. It was half off day. There was this, I actually already took off the, um, the clasp to this because I am rather certain that this is silver and that it is artisan made. It's actually kind of small. So I need to get a clasp for this one that's, that's sterling as well. I think I might have tested this one. I, I don't remember, but Look at how neat it is. And it's like the bronze with the silver. And it's just, it's really special and unique. And you can tell it's like handmade. This is what the back looks like. There is no markings, but I am, I'm rather certain that's what this is. And I think I might've tested it. I cannot, I cannot remember. Um, and then I found this and I snapped this up. I think I paid 20 something dollars, 20 to $30 for all of this, um, in this box. Like I said, there, there are a couple of th other things I got too. And, um, they usually deal with you when, you know, it's the last day. So I've actually either had this or sold this before. So I knew that this is 925 and it is Pandora. And it just says, I love my dog. Little Pandora charm. So I grabbed that. This will clean up nicely, hopefully. It is marked here. It is pretty tarnished. And see, it is just Mark Sterling. I think it's somewhat older. I will most likely give this a bath in the Sterling Silver Cleaner because that cloth is not going to do much to this. So I don't like to put things in Silver Cleaner, um, but I will put things like this in Silver Cleaner because with a polishing cloth or something like that, it is just really difficult to clean these. <laughs> So, because there's so much texture and everything, but it's a decently heavy and nice. This one I want to get fixed. It is not marked, but I'm pretty certain that it is a sterling silver vintage paper clip chain. Um, and... I was thinking maybe getting a tiny silver jump ring or something. Or bringing it to the jewelers and see if, if it can't be fixed. Just because I really like these old paper clip chains. They're really nice. And they're really nice to put our deco or, you know, Victorian even, even though it's not the right era, it's like a nice good look on there. So, and you can tell it's older. So you can see, boop, boop, it's not together, but even if I can just put a small 
jump ring on there to keep those together. I think it'll be worth it and very nice. So then boop, boop, I had this one. This I don't think is marked anywhere. But I am rather certain this is sterling silver brooch. This part is not, but the other part is. Now this is cool. I grabbed this. I don't even know why. I don't think, I know I didn't see the marking until I was in my car. Because this is actually a James Avery piece. It's marked Avery Stir. Oh, okay. I will do that in a second. So this is an E and it is James Avery. So that's nice. All right. This is what the paper clip chain looks like. And you can see that it's older from the clasp. But that is what they look like. They're really detailed and just really neat. And it, it's different. So I love those. And then I have to test this one. I don't think I did. But I am pretty certain that this is also on March Silver. That was handmade it's got a raw amethyst in it and it's just it's a very beautiful cross pendant and it's different it's brutalist style it is really neat i also don't think this guy was marked and i unfortunately couldn't find the other one super sad because look at how gorgeous this opal is It's just stunning. So I still got it, even though it was only one. I wonder if I can make a bale out of it or something. I don't know. And then I loved these. These, I was like, these are really cool. I wasn't sure how much they were going to charge me. They did a, a one-for-all price. Um, I don't think there's anything missing. It almost looks like there was one here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. I think it's just the way that it is. And I did end up seeing this mark here. Oh, I thought you were saying, like, could you remove my husband? This is really hard to see. I don't know where I put my loop. You guys are always yelling at me about the loop. And I'm always, yeah, I'm always losing my loop. That's obviously. I don't know. I can't. I think it says 925. But it is really, really hard to read. Um, there's also this interesting mark there on both of them but these are not like they're foiled back stones so I think they're like replicas of Victorian jewelry it's very pretty yeah I don't know they're just they're different so I really like those. So those were all from one sale. I was digging for a long time here. 
because that's what I do. I like to dig, dig, dig. Yeah, I could probably put a little jump ring in there. Um, I'd love to get it fixed in like a more secure way or more original way, but if I have to, that's why this one makes me laugh because that was in the mall I used to work at. All right. I grabbed this one. It is unmarked. This is heavy though. Here, let's pull you in deeper. It is really well made. Open backs, which I love because sometimes, you know, the foil will come off of those other ones and, you know, then it's like, you're in the stone. So these ones are probably foiled and this one is not. But look at how it overlaps. This middle stone is in there. It's set completely in there with the other ones on top of it. It's very unique. I think this is a very nice vintage brooch. I think it's very nice quality. It's heavy. It feels designer. So that was exciting. <laughs> I get some other stuff just because, because I'm, I'm like that. So these, I think, are Art Deco. I have no idea what they're made out of. Probably like a vintage plastic. I don't know. I thought they were just really unique and different. And I think they are Art Deco. I know I like the see-through backs too, right? And then you don't have to worry about stuff. thought this was beautiful. I've noticed people love abalone. They don't always know what it is, but like my sister has these fake silver, they're not even real sterling, abalone earrings, and she gets compliments on them all the time. And I, I can't remember what this is. Horn, I think. I think someone told me it was horn. This one's like, falling out there, but um, you can wear it either way, honestly. Like, I think this is cool with the red, and I think it's beautiful this way. So that is what this one looks like. I thought it was different and unique, and so I grabbed that one. Um, the other one was in with these, that other cross. This one I think is broken. Um, it opens though, and I don't know why. And so I thought that was pretty different. And then there was this one as well. This one's more of a plain one. And this is, I believe, Catalan. I think this is the one that is made with milk. Milk, something, milk, case, casein, something like that. I don't remember. It's, I think it's casein or Goliath. I can't remember right now. I apologize. Um, it's faceted. I have another one that's kind of like this. It is Art Deco. It is an early plastic. You can tell, like, look at this clasp. It's very different from some of the newer clasps. Such a hard word for me to say for some reason. Um, but it is like a graduated plastic. And it probably needs to be restrung. You can see these coming out here, but it's beautiful coral color. 
Very unique. Hmm. Also got some new things. So this one was also there. And I thought these were Swarovski at first. There's only two. But I am pretty certain these are um, Nadri instead. Look at how beautiful these are. And there's two of them. So these I, I will wear. I just, I think, I love gunmetal. These have the gunmetal style and wear them with like a Swarovski one that I have in the middle or something. Stay. Okay. You'll just go there. <laughs> These I saw and I love the shape. Very unique. And I didn't see the marking on here until later. And these are marked here, AK. So these are Ancline, which I have found the vintage Ancline jewelry just as nice as Monet um, in the quality. And I like, these are so great. I, I absolutely love these. I have some Ancline necklaces that I love too. So just beautiful. I grab this. I actually think I might do something with this with a pendant jewelry. Also this, this is feather light. It is, oh my goodness. I should not have come on to you so late. <laughs> um, celluloid. So this is a celluloid. I don't see the blue very often. The rhinestones are in perfect, perfect conditions. Very 1950s looking. And it is in very good shape. It's just beautiful. And I love that one. This, I I don't love the chain. I will probably replace the chain because the chain is really faded. But somebody seemed to have made this, I think. Like, look. It's just very chaotic in a great way. And I, I love that. His nose has some issues. I think it's bronze. Oh. I think maybe he's broken there too, but you know, for me, I just, I don't know. I think it all adds to him. I think it's really great, so. And I got this crown, because <laughs> why not? So it, it's it's really different how it opens. It opens like a barrette, and I will do some cleaning of it. It'll probably be beautiful for a wedding or something. Hopefully it will sparkle up nicely. It is not overly too much. And it's fun. I also grabbed some of this. She had stringing material. Stringing wire. Which I want to start beading again with you guys. And this is a nice, a nice um, size for that. So that's, that's what we're gonna try. And then this one, I love these clasps. These are um, more the Art Deco ones. I have to put some ketchup here probably or something because there's a little faded. But these are glass meant to mimic um, the ones that are like this that are coral. Because I'm sure some of you guys have seen they have beautiful coral ones like this that are just kind of netted 
And so this is just really stunningly beautiful. It's heavy, it's glass, it's a beautiful color, and it's just very unique. So I grabbed that one. I loved this. I don't see the blue that often. You guys can see how stunning this color is. This also has that older style clasp. I think this is from the 1920s. Also probably needs to be restrung. It's pretty big. And it really doesn't have a lot of issues. Like some of these are really chipped and damaged. And these ones don't seem to be. Look at this. Like, the color is stunning. So nice. It's funny when you string these, it looks like it's just tied here and here. I love these vintage, like, Art Deco glass necklaces. If they're the right price, I almost always pick them up. These I don't always. However, I did because I thought this one was a little unique. And it would be perfect for layering with other things. And this one, I feel like I could, like, there's some of the coating coming off, but it's not bad. It is in decent shape. It still looks really pretty and will look really nice on. But, like I said, can you see this vintage one that just layered up with some more modern necklaces? Like, kind of Chanel-esque. Do it with some pearls, do it with some gold. I think that layered would look really nice. And I did find this for the gaim. So I did manage to find him a cat pin. <laughs> And I got these. This one is chipped down here, but you can't see it from the other side. And I thought they were just so unique, and it won't affect your wearing them either. Like, who's going to look from behind? I won't sell them because of that, most likely. But I think they're so super 80s, really di different and unique and cool. And these, I thought maybe these were ba Bakelite. I don't know. They're bronze. They definitely need to be cleaned. Very unique screw back earrings. This was, there was only one of these, so I bought this for crafting. And I, I have not heard of this maker. Have any of you guys? I just thought it was so unique that, you know, maybe I could do something with it. Susan L. Richardson. I forgot to look it up. This one I also bought to do something with for um, crafting. And this, I used to make my sub dad buy me stuff like this at the Indian picnic. It's a little frog in here with inlaid turquoise and a little turquoise chip. 
strung on liquid silver. So just a small, very delicate one. And like, again, I grabbed these also to craft with. And the mouse for Jimmy. Let's go with the cats. Cats need mice, right? This one is also to craft with. And also to craft with, because there's only one. And this one, sometimes these are unmarked. I bought this, hoping it was gold, small one. I'm gonna put it aside. All right, so that was the estate sale haul. And then I have just a couple things from Savers. So this, this was actually kind of expensive. It was like 11 or $12, which is kind of expensive for my store, but it is from French Candy. It's funny because it says Paris, but I, I don't think they make it in, in Paris. It's actually somebody, I think from like LA that, um, makes these and it's got big potato pearls and then this crown and this it's marked on the back here too on um, a tassel I had not heard of this brand this brand is not cheap and I like the look of it too it's like hard and soft with the pearls so I love that so, new designer, French Candy. I had not, not seen this. I think she started out because she used to go to flea markets in France and grabbed coins and things like that and started making jewelry out of them. And then just it grew and now she designs her own jewelry, which is nice. Get this one for 99 cents. And you can see there used to be mark in there. It is incredibly hard to read. Thirty-five, maybe. Um, and these are garnets. So I think it's sterling, and well, it's not sterling because it's it's below sterling. Sterling is nine two five. So like a little above coin silver, and this should clean up really nicely. And it's, it's decently old. So I love that. And then $3.99 for this one. Obviously I hadn't taken the, the class off yet. And this one was hanging like this, which is funny because it has a marking here of just like this UM or something, or DM, and then 925. So for $4, it has a beautiful clasp. It's well made. And pearls, onyx. Would be a nice, nice piece to layer. And I thought that one was a good deal. I actually would look nice with this other piece even, you know, layered up like this. Yeah, I like that. 
And then this one was, again, kind of expensive. $12.99. I'm actually kind of surprised that they saw the marking in here. The marking is... Inside there, you can see it, 925. And it is this crazy piece of amber. Like, you can see through it there. I love the shape of it, it's very organic. It's huge. I'll show you in my hand. It's really big. You can see that it's like not perfect on this side either. Like it's not flush. It's just a really different piece of amber. I I love this. And this this will be really nice, like stacked up with other amber. I love amber. I know it's really popular right now among all of us. <laughs> And for good reason, right? Look look at this. Very organic. And the bezel is kind of made for this piece, which I love. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, do all of those things. Let me know what your favorite piece is. I did end up getting a lot. And uh, like I said, I got these and some crimp beads so that we can do fun things like this, I'm hoping. You know, where I string things together. And we can put some fun elements to it. Uh, that's what I'm hoping anyway. And, uh, so yeah, please give this video a like, and I have way more things to show you guys in my next videos. So I will see you guys then. Bye everyone.